Roslyn by Bon Iver. Bon, 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 bon Iver. Bon Iver. Bienvenue. Uh, learning this song sucked. I resent the song, and I resent you for asking me to learn it, and this is gonna be the worst tutorial I've ever made. I'm only doing it out of spite. So how do you feel about that? First of all, the tuning for this song is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. He tunes some strings down, he tunes some strings up. It's a giant nightmare of a mess. And I will tell you that if you, on your regular guitar with regular strings, try to match his tuning, you're gonna break all your strings on your guitar. So, there is a compromise. Here's what happens. More cape, capo and detuning, miserable. This is miserable, terrible, skip this video, you're gonna hate it. Go ahead and put your capo on the third fret, okay? Then here's what you're gonna do. With the capo on, I would like you to have your tuning app, your tuner, booner, whatever you've got to tune your strings. You're going to play the top string. Your top string, you're gonna tune it down so it says E. Yes, I know, E is the normal note for that string, but with the capo, it's gonna shoot up to some else. You're gonna loosen it quite a bit until the top string says E. Then, go down to the second string from the top. That one should say B, so you will lower that one just a little bit. Then go down to the next one. That one should say D, so you're gonna lower that one a bit. Then you're gonna go down to the next string, the third string from the bottom. That one should say F sharp or G flat, but it probably says F sharp, so you're gonna tune that one down. Then you're gonna go to the next one. This one should say D, which means you are not going to change the tuning on that string at all. You might just have to adjust it to make sure it's in tune. And then the bottom string should say F sharp, which means you're gonna tune that one down just a little bit. So again, that was, I have to check, E, B, D, uh, F sharp, D, and F sharp. It's crazy, it's crazy tuning. If you try to tune it to that without the capo, some of the strings are just gonna have too much tension and they're gonna break. I think the guy from Bon Iver must have some sort of low tension strings or maybe he's got a special guitar or something, but I'm telling you, this is how you tune it. Capo on third fret saves you some strings. And now we begin our journey to learn the song. Check it out. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna rush through this because I don't even want to teach you to begin with. I don't want to do this, and everything about this is a waste of everyone's time. The song. Okay, look. The song is great. It's a it's a fantastic song. I understand why you want to play it. I'm just telling you that it's a miserable experience. Okay. First thing you're gonna do is just mute all the strings. Just touch all the strings to mute them and go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. We're going one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and down, down, up. That's the strumming for the entire song, so get used to that. So with the strings muted, we're gonna go one, two, and three, and down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, to get the feel of the song, great. Then we got this crazy chord, check it out. Oh, and this is, e what's even stupider is now we're up here at the 12th fret, but because of the capo, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's the ninth fret. So the 12th fret, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, the 12th fret is actually the ninth fret. This is horrible, all right. Put your pointer finger on the eighth fret of the second string from the top, Put your ring finger on the ninth fret of the third string from the top, and put your middle finger on the eighth fret of the fourth string from the top. So we've got open, then eight, nine, eight. But if you look at your guitar, it actually looks like it's 11, 12, 11. We ran into the same thing with other songs in the past. I don't know what's happening to me. All right, this is our chord. For this first chord, we would like to mute the top string with the thumb. The bottom couple strings are open. That's our beautiful, fantastic chord. Don't you love it? I love it, I love it. If you can't mute the top with your thumb, just try not to hit the top. And we're gonna strum down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So it's four times. One, two, three. Oh, oh, no, I lied to you, do it three times. Then take this whole same chord shape, move it one, two, two frets up and go down, down, up, down, up. We're gonna do it up there once and then go back down to this one, so look. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, or bow, 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 bow. You see that? So that was, I went from eight, nine, eight up to 10, 11, 10. 
crazy. One, two, three, here we go. Muted strings. Oh, I tricked you. You weren't ready for that. And here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So that time we stay on it four. So we do three times here, one time up here, four times down here. Then we're gonna go open strings. One, two, three, and then this guy right here. So that was open strings, one, two, three, and then pointer finger on the first fret of the G string, the third string from the bottom, and middle finger on second fret of D, the third string from the top. So we're going open, pow, two, three, four. So we're gonna do this chord four times. One, then one, two, three, four, then open, one, two. So here's what happened there. I did open, then the chord, four times. Then back to open, then I went back to the chord two times, one, two, and then I went like this. So here's what happened there. I was strumming open once, then I put my fingers back on that chord, and I strummed up. Then I strummed down on this chord again. Then I immediately slid two frets up to whatever that is, four and three. You see that right there? Oh, I love it. I went down, up, down, slide. And then go back to one and two, Play it open, and then play, oh wait, don't play it, play it with the fingers there, down, and then play it open. I know I rushed through that. I know that was too confusing. I know you're still trying to wrap your head around the stupid tuning, but I have to keep moving forward because otherwise we're never gonna be able to leave this place. So that was open, then with the one and two, slide back to one and two, then open and then open again. And then I think they go back to the chord, but I don't remember, who cares? All right, so from the beginning, we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, Slide it up, one, two, three, four. Open fingers, three, four. Open fingers, two. Okay, there we go. So we have bottom ramp and th and then right back up to that first chord we did, the one that was eight, nine, eight, but it looks like 11, 12, 11. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, no, that's right. I know what I'm talking about. Well, I don't have to keep doing the same thing over and over again. I know exactly what's going on. Then the singing starts. So we go, bong, ka, bong, ba, ba. Bong, ka, ding, bang, bing, bong, bang. So that was one, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, I lost track. Would you do me a favor? I'm gonna kind of sing it terribly, and I would like you to count how many times I'm on this chord. That was six times. Thanks. Thanks for counting. So we do this six times, then we go bow, bow. So that was open one and two. We're gonna do the one and two chord, this one, whatever. I'm gonna call this the one and two chord, and you have to deal with it. We're gonna do it three times. One, two, three, then. We're gonna do that again. Remember that that we did in the intro? Should we just stop now? We should, right? I mean, okay, look. This song is fun to play. It's, it's just so weird. It is unlike any other song I have ever experienced in my entire time on this planet Earth. The planet Earth, I am from your planet. We go. Then we go back to the one-two chord. So we go. One, then 
then one, two, three, four, then right back up to the first chord. That is what I like to call the verse of the song. We're going to do that two times. Um, how, what, do you, what do you say we play through the verse together twice, the two of us together, mano a mano, um, and just see how it goes. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, then on, on, two, three. I think they might do it seven times. I lost track of everything. Everything is terrible. And that takes us to the chorus of the song. Are you ready to begin the chorus? Would you please play uh, the seventh fret on the second string from the top? So not the top string, second string from the top, seventh fret, looks like the 10th fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there. Uh, use your pointer finger to play that seventh fret, if you want, or you can use the other finger, I don't care. Then put your middle finger on the seventh fret of the string right below that one. And this is the first chord of the chorus. We're gonna play this chord three times. I almost said two, but it's three. We go one, two, three. Then ring finger plays the seventh fret right below it on the G string. Look at that little guy right there. We play that once, one, two, three. Then slide your ring finger up to the eighth fret. The next one, it looks like the 11th fret, but it's the eighth fret because of the capo. And we're gonna play this chord four times. One, two, three, four. So that was the seven and seven. One, two, three. Then ring finger, then slide the ring finger up. Two, three, four. Then we go back to the first chord from the entire song, the one that was eight, nine, eight. And we go one, two, three, four. How many times? Five, six, seven, eight times. That's right, eight times on this chord. Okay. At this point, we're gonna do the open strings once. One, two, three. And then we go three, four, three. It's that same shape as the chord we've been doing this whole time. We're gonna do this one three times. One, two, three. And then here we go. We're gonna move this guy all the way up. I think it's up to here. That's it. Up to, oh crap, what note is this? It looks like 13, because the 12th fret is here, but with the capo, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, up to 10. So we're on 10 on the A string, 11 on the D string, and then 10 on the G string. And we're gonna do this chord, not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, not five times, not six times, not seven times, but eight times times. Let's do it. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I think it does that again, probably, right? Because it does that all the time. Let's play the whole chorus all the way through. And then we're done because I have important things to do. You like have to I don't know. What do you have to do? What do you have to do today? Hey, leave your uh, comments in the comments. I always say that. Leave your comments in the comments down below. What are your big plans for today? You gonna go to the pumpkin patch? Huh? You gonna go fishing, scuba diving, parasailing, hang gliding? You're gonna go sword fighting, maybe go to the climbing gym? Gonna play some racquetball, pickleball. That's all the rage. You're gonna love it. Here we go. One, two, three, chorus. And one, two, three the finger up to eight two three four then to the first chord of the song two three four then uh what happens after that what happens uh then we go open then the three and four then up to something up to this one two three four five six seven And then we start.
start the whole thing over again. The shrank getting bing bong. Shrank getting bang bang bong. How do they end the song? They end on this chord right here. So anyway, I completely didn't show you how to do it. Um, the tuning is confusing. Uh, I rushed through it. If we're being totally honest, there might be a whole other part of the song that I didn't even learn, but I'm just done with it, okay? Okay? So I'm wearing my like farmer outfit today. I'm having a good time. I'm gonna drink some water. I'll see you later.